everyone, how's it going out there in Periscope land? Let me adjust the screen. Hi, this is Chef Michael from DrInAmission.com. How are you today? It is so cool to be here streaming live to the world, man. This is just amazing when you think about what's going on with technology and that. I'm Chef Michael from DrInAmission.com, as I've already said, along with my beautiful wife, Dr. Isabel, MD, and she's the doctor, doctorinamission.com. Our mission is to help you live to be, well, a hundred years young without sickness, without chronic disease, without drugs and all that kind of stuff. We want to help you live a long, great, happy, vibrant life. Now, guys, today I'm going to be talking about, well, something, you know what, you might want to hear this and you might want to not hear this, but it's really about how to, let's say, healthily, is healthily a word? How to, <laughs> how to kind of healthy get through the holidays. And what I mean by that is, come on, we're all going to have some fun over the next three to four weeks. Let's admit it. We're all probably going to overindulge. That's just the way it's going to be. But I, today I want to give five tips on how um, let's say we can get through without falling off the cliff until we get to like January 5th or 10th or 15th or wherever it is for you when you get to the other side of this holiday period. Because you know what, we want to, well, you know, it's an amazing great time of the year, but we get, when we get to the other end of it, we don't want to just be such a total blobby mess that it's going to take us a couple months to get ourselves back together again. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Hey, before we get going, a couple disclaimers here. If you're fairly new to Periscope, uh, you're just getting started. What you want? Hi, how's it going out there? Great to see you. Thanks for thanks for joining me. Um, we've got this really cool thing on Periscope where you tap the screen and these hearts come up, and it's just like Facebook likes or some kind of a like thing. And it's really cool if you like what you're seeing, you like what you're hearing, just tap the screen and and the hearts come up, and you get all these great likes. The other thing is if you want to share this to your friends and family, you like what's going on, you like what you hear, just on the, the bottom right corner where the person is with the number, just tap on that and you can look uh, to find the share button and to share it out to friends. You could do it now, you could do it at any time. Uh, that would be fantastic. We appreciate it. So I'm just going to go for about five minutes. And today, I'm Chef Michael from DrInAmission.com, along with my beautiful wife, Dr. Isabel, MD, at DrInAmission.com. We're here to help you live a long, happy, vibrant life. And today, I'm going to give you five tips to come out the other side of the holidays uh, still feeling good. You know, you've had a great time. You've had a great festive season. Uh, we probably overindulge in a little bit of drink and food, but you know what? We're still okay, and it's only going to take a few days, maybe even a week to get us back on track, okay? Now, if that's not, if you could care less, <laughs> then this one probably isn't for you. This is for those that want to come out the other side and say, okay, that was amazing. That was a great holiday season. Uh, but I'm still feeling okay. All right. Now, where I'm at in the Southern Hemisphere, um, I don't know where you're at in the world, but here in the Southern Hemisphere, it's summertime. And this week and pretty much over the last week or two, kids are getting out of school. School's ending. Uh, I can tell you what, it is a very festive feeling. You know, the, the berries are in season. There's beautiful fresh berries. Kids are out of school. It's warm. It's beachy. It's feeling fantastic. Uh, the champagne is flowing possibly wherever you might be. Uh, and uh, it is a very festive season. So I would say what I'm talking about is probably already started going on. So we've got a little bit of a, a long period of weeks here to go, maybe even a month or longer for some people. And, and even if you're in the Northern Hemisphere where it's a, a little bit, it's colder, it's winter this time of year, you know what? You're probably inside being warm and, and having some, uh, I don't know what kind of drinks and food, but we tend to kind of, you know, want to get warm and, and that. So, okay, here's some tips. Tip number one. Sit down when you eat, take your time, and enjoy your food. You know, when we sit down and we eat slow and we enjoy our food and we're not in a hurry and going like that, what it does is it gives our bodies a chance to actually tell the brain, uh, hey, stop putting it in, I'm full. <laughs> Because what happens when we eat fast, we just keep pouring it down and then all of a sudden we go, oh my gosh, I am so full. Well, slow down when you eat, 
enjoy your food it's an amazing time enjoy your connecting time with friends and family and that'll give your body and your stomach a chance to tell your head hey I'm full you can stop now and that'll kind of save us from time to time all right tip number one tip number two if you are going for seconds take a little gap of time in between that you know you had your first round you had your first plate and you're thinking okay well I'm still hungry well, if you just take a few minutes uh, a time before you plate up again and go again, a couple of things will happen. One is it'll actually give your body possibly a chance to say, uh, well, really, actually, I'm full. I don't need to go again. Or if you do go again, you just, you just let things settle and give your body a chance to kind of say, okay, how much more food do I really need, okay? Because it just keeps us from overeating. Okay, tip number two. Tip number three. Do your best to avoid late night eating. Uh, that's probably one of the biggies that gets us uh, is eating and pouring and a whole bunch of calories right before we go to sleep. Yes, it's gonna hang out. And by the way, you know, this stuff's gonna happen. We know this is gonna happen over the next whatever amount of weeks, month, you know, the festive season, whatever it is for you. We know this stuff's gonna happen. This is just about kind of limiting it a little bit still having lots of fun so avoid late night eating right before you go to bed as much as you can tip number four hey take a walk or you know hey I mean Isabel and I my lovely wife Dr. Isabel MD and myself I mean we're gonna um, have some eating and drinking and probably stuff we wouldn't normally have during the year because it's a good festive time we're gonna treat ourselves but we are going to continue to go to the gym and, and exercise and work out but if that's not your thing what I suggest is after a meal, just go for a walk. Even if it's only 10, 15 minutes, a half hour, whatever it may be, get out. Even if it's cold, hey, it's great, bundle up. Uh, we have no excuses in our part of the world, in the Southern Hemisphere. It's beautiful, it's warm, it's lovely out. But uh, after a meal, get out and go for a walk. It's a fantastic time to do that. That will help get things moving and get things going, keep that digestive system moving, and that'll really help out, and you actually might burn off a few of those calories you just put in, okay? Tip number five, um, okay, you know, don't kill me for this one. I'm just the messenger, but is do your best to avoid as much of the kind of the fried heavy foods as you can. I know we're going to have it. Hey, fish and chips here in New Zealand where I'm at is a, is a great, great treat. Actually, people have it a few times a week. A lot of people do. But, you know, try to avoid the, the heavy, fatty, fried foods as much as you can. Um, it's going to happen, yeah, but uh, I guess what we're going to be looking to do is is not like every meal. If Have a giant heavy breakfast, have a giant heavy lunch, have a giant heavy dinner and just pile it in all day long. If you can limit it to one meal a day or the other thing is too is try to continue to still eat your greens, your salads, your veggies. You know, continue trying to get your, your good nutritional foods in there so this is not just weeks at a time of just dumping in the stuff we probably shouldn't be eating but hey we're having a festive time so do your best to limit it, you know all that stuff we know we probably shouldn't be having and try and get your veggies and your greens even if you are having those fried foods and different things still try to get those veggies and greens into your diet okay so five tips there to help you through the the holiday period so we don't get to the other end sometime in January whatever it may be for you where we feel like we just fell off the cliff and it's probably going to take us until May to recover from the whole thing okay so the five tips are sit down to eat take your time to eat let your body di digest the food let your uh, let your body tell your brain I'm full I don't want any more Number two, take a gap between helpings. If you're going to have second helpings or thirds, take a little gap of time in between that so your body can tell you how much you really more you need if you actually need any more. Avoid the late night eating as much as you can. Hey, it's a great time to eat late night, I know. I mean, here in New Zealand, it's getting dark out at 9.30 at night, so uh, we are kind of eating late because of the time of the year. But avoid that as much as you can. Tip number four, get out and walk after meals. Fantastic. Get a little exercise going. Try to keep some kind of exercise regime going, even if it's just walking, whatever you can do. Okay, Try to keep the body moving a little bit during this period. And then avoid as excess, excess, excess of the big, heavy, starchy fried foods. And try to keep up with getting some greens and veggies into your daily in intake so it's not just all 
stuff we probably wouldn't normally eat to, to stay healthy, okay? So there you go, five tips to help you through the holidays. I'm Chef Michael from DoctorOnAMission.com. That's www.DoctorOnAMission.com. You can uh, go there for learning more about us and my lovely wife, Dr. Isabel MD. Our goal is to help you live a long, happy, vibrant life to 100 years young. And uh, you can, and if you want to know more about us, you can go to any social media outlet. You can Google us. Just put in Doctor on a Mission. We're out there. We're all over. You know, I'm not even going to name all the social media outlets because I'll tell you what, there's so many now I can't even name them all. I come to you on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Normally, Reclaim Your Kitchen. Uh, my, my lovely wife, Isabel's, is Reclaim Your Health. Today, it wasn't necessarily Reclaim Your Kitchen. It was a little more Reclaim Your Health. But I just thought this was a great holiday message. I wish y'all, everybody out there, a Merry Christmas. I know it's not always the best of time for everybody. There is tragedy in the world, but I hope, 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 hope that it can be a, a good time for you, a great time for you. And let's remember the reason for the season, and I wish you all so, I'll be talking to you again soon, but I wish you all so a fantastic finish to 2015, because I'm not ready to talk about 2016 yet, because they're still looking to have a great finish to 2015. That's all for now. Great talking to you. Have an awesome day. Bye for now.